Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial we're going to go over null services and how to create them. So we are going to start with the new doc, new uh, template here. This is millimeter, part, inch, uh, part millimeter ANSI. We are going to be designing a guitar knob, um, more specifically the uh, guitar knob on a Telecaster. Uh, that's where I kind of got the idea. So we're going to start with the top surface, create a sketch, select your circle tool, select the origin, drag it out, Select your dimension tool. Dimension this to be 21 millimeters. Go to features, extrude base. We are going to select 21, I believe. 22, excuse me. 22 millimeters. Select OK. Uh, there's our basic shape of the guitar knob. We are going to uh, create fillets on both sides. Hit control to select both faces. Select your fillet feature and enter in two millimeters. All right, so you can kind of see it getting together. Hit F to um, have it fit the screen. Control seven to see the ISO. Uh, now what we're going to do is create the helix that we'll need um, to start the uh, the null the null surface. There, I'm going to select this face. Select ske sketch. Select this circle. Convert entities. That'll give us our base uh, to start our helix. We are going to go to insert curve, if I can find it, uh, helix spiral. We're going to reverse directions, and we want this um, to go a, about an eighth um, revolution, not an entire revolution, but just one eighth. So it, one divided by eight. I have SolidWorks do the math for you, and we are going to start it, say, 180. Better yet, just let's just go zero. And the way we're gonna get our, our pitch is we're going to we want this to go all the way to the top here. And the way we're gonna do that is just multiply it by eight. The thing is, is we divide by eighth um, for our revolution. So we're just gonna multiply twenty. Um, oops. Multiply twenty. Oh, I'm sorry, twenty-two. I believe you. Twenty-two times eight. And that should bring, yeah, there we go. You can see that it goes all the way to the top. And that's what we want to select. Okay, and now we have our helix there. Now what we need is, is we're going to need a, a uh, profile to, to cut this, this area out. So we are going to draw on this plane again. Shift 6 will get you the bottom. As you can see, that, that helix begins right here, so we're going to draw a tangent to this circle right here. So, let's, let's control 6 to see the bottom. And get our line tool, and we're just going to draw it out here for um, being able to just to be able to see it better and visualize it. We're going to add a couple of relationships. Make these perpendicular. Make this and. Oops. We're going to make that tangent, and we are going to select the midpoint, and make that coincidence. Now that should be okay, but just to make sure, we're going to select our midpoint here, and select our profile, and we'll select a Pierce uh, relationship. Now we're going to dimension our, our triangle here. And we're just going to go one for simplicity here. Uh, select why this isn't. Here we go. Vertical. And now it's fully defined. All right. Now we're ready to exit the sketch. A uh, real, real quick tidbit: uh, if you're not finding that you you have that option to select the um, swap cut feature, it's grayed out like this. Uh, most likely, it's because you're, you're not you're still in the sketch, and it won't allow you um, to access that feature if you're if you're not if you're still in the sketch. So we're gonna go swap cut. We're gonna select our profile, and then select our path. You see, oh, you see a display there, and that's pretty much what we want. So we're gonna select that, and you see we have a, we have our first cut. This is kind of large. This is just uh, to show you, give you an idea, um, the actual. Uh, cut out there is probably much smaller, but now we're going to uh, draw on the right plane, and we're going to create our center line to pattern this. 
select the origin, draw a vertical line. This doesn't really have to be uh, the full length. Um, now we're going to exit that sketch, put a linear pattern, circular pattern, and select that um, that uh, axis right there that we just created. Instances, uh, we're going to try 22 equal spaced. Go to features or pattern, select that swept cut we just made, and there you go. Uh, let's go. Let's go 25. A little bit tighter. All right, so we're going to hit, hit OK. Hopefully, this won't take too long to generate. Yeah, I'm pretty quick uh, computer right now that I'm working on. And now, how are we going to um, create that 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 crosshatch um, in the other direction? There's a really simple way. We're going to planes. I'm going to select this plane, and we are going to reverse direction. And since our our height, the total height is 22. We're going to half that, and we're going to make it 11. That will take us to like the midplane of this object. We're going to hit OK, and on this midplane is where we're going to mirror this this cross hat across this hatch right here, and um, that should give us our, our normal surface that we do that we wanted. So we will select mirror. Uh, we'll select this point, and then we will select this circular pattern. Grab the sweep cut, yeah, and grab the sweep the, the your first cut, or else it will leave that blank. So that looks about right. We're gonna select, and hopefully it'll power through this. And there we go. So there's there's kind of an, an ugly uh, no, I'll I'll, I'll uh, see if I can bring up a better one that I did earlier. So we're gonna go. Oh shoot! Yeah, here we go. So here's what I did earlier. Uh, it's a little better. You can see I can even I can put the uh, set screw hole in here. Um, but I know, that looks pretty good. I think it's a nice uh, Telecaster knob there. All right. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you want more, just uh, comment and, and write. Thanks. Bye.